Let's review how to work the stitches in fusion knitting. These first two stitches have purl bumps on them. I'm going to slip them purl wise with my yarn in front. These next few stitches are background stitches. We can tell because they're in the opposite color from the working yarn and they present as knits. All of them will be purled. The next stitches are in the same color as the working yarn. Those are design stitches for the front and we're going to knit them through the back loop. The last rule of fission knitting only applies on contrast color rows when the cables have started to travel. You can see that there's one background stitch between the gold design stitch and the pearl bump. That's because the main color design stitch has started to travel on the previous row. There are separate videos for all the cable movements I'm going to show you here. In working the first cable, the gold design stitch is going to be brought so that it's right beside the gray design stitch from the other side. I'll purl these background stitches. The next cable movement will bring this gold design stitch to be beside this gray design stitch. Let's take a look at what we have on the needles now. The gold design stitch has moved, so it's right beside the gray design stitch. The last rule of fusion knitting is that the design stitches must be beside each other at the end of contrast color rows.